Hello, and welcome to Peak Internet's weekly tech tip screencasts. On today's screencasts, we'll be showing you how to set up Windows Mail or Outlook Express if you have Windows XP. First, to open Windows Mail, there are two common ways. The most common way is to open it via an icon on the desktop, or you can open it from the Start menu. You click on the Start menu, and then you click on where it says Email, Windows Mail, or Email Outlook Express if you have Windows XP. Once the program is opened, you'll be greeted by the standard Windows Mail or Outlook Express inbox view. If you happen to have, if this happens to be the first time you have opened Windows Mail, it'll immediately start asking you for your connection information. If this is not the first time you have opened Windows Mail, it will not ask you for the connection information. So to open it, we click on Tools and then Accounts. That will give us the Internet Accounts window. You may or may not see other accounts information in here. Most of the time, it'll just be directory services or news groups. However, they have no effect on the settings of your future email. To add an email, we click on Add, select Email Account. We do not need to worry about news groups or directory services. And then we click on Next. Then it'll ask us for our display name. The display name is whatever you would like it to say. It's what will show up in the from line. For example, if we wanted to say from Peak Internet, we can type in Peak Internet. This does not have to be your email address. It can be anything you would like. Then we click Next. Now it will ask us for our email address. This is the address that you set up with Peak when you created the account. We are going to use newuser at peak.org as our demonstration account. Once we have done that, we click Next. It will ask us what type of server we are going to connect to. This is like the language that the mail program is going to be using to talk to our server. There are three options, POP, IMAP, and HTTP. At peak, we use IMAP and POP3 are both available. However, we typically recommend you use POP. The incoming mail server is like the post office address. With peak internet, it is mail.peak.org. The outgoing mail server is all, is like the outgoing post office address. Again, it is mail.peak.org. In Windows Mail, it will give you the option to use outgoing authentication. We typically recommend you check this. If you're using Outlook Express, it will give you the option to use secure password authentication. Do not check that. We do not use it at peak and you'll be able, unable to send or receive your email if you do check it. Once you have completed this, we click on Next. It'll now prompt you for your email username or your email account name in Outlook Express and your password. The username is automatically filled out with the first part of the email address that you set up with us. And then your password is what you set up with us when you created the account. You then have the option to remember password. This way you do not have to type your password every time you send or receive your email. Once you have entered the information here, go ahead and click on Next. It will now give us a congratulations window saying that we have entered all of the information correctly. On Windows Mail, there is the option to do not download my email at this time. It does not matter whether we check this or not. It will work 
just fine in the future. So once we are complete, we click on Finish. And it'll attempt to download the email for the first time. And it'll drop us back to our Internet Accounts window, which we can close. This time we have no email in this account, but as long as there are no errors, your email is working perfectly. If you have any problems or questions with this, please give our technical support a call at 1-800-731-4871. It is open 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Thank you again for watching Peak Internet's weekly tech tips, tech tips screencasts on our first episode, How to Set Up Windows Mail or Outlook Express.